G'day guys, so in this video what we're going to look at is sealing up the cracks in the stacked foundation walls. So in the previous stacked foundation video I just stacked it into a square box, but that's not the most efficient way of doing it. The outer top ring of foundation may provide some protection but they're not required to seal the boot up. But if you had to just remove them, you end up with a gap. That is wide enough to damage things through and access the inventory. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is close those gaps up and lay the foundation out in the most efficient way possible. And this has become my standard boat, as it's efficient, it's a bit expendable, and it doesn't matter if it's sunk yet still provides good protection. So grab the rudder to centre the first pillar, place a pillar half a square back, then place another pillar half a square forward, and the foundation next to it. Now normally we'd end up demolishing that foundation, but in this case we're going to preserve it. So pillar into the foundation and lower it once more. Now we've got two of the three layers that we need. Extend it one square out the back of the boat, all at that same level, just using the thatch ceiling extension with the foundation underneath it. Now demolish the foundation over the rudder, we need that one level lower. So a pillar in the foundation next to it and find the lower snap point over the rudder. So now we've got the three levels that we need. The lowest level over the rudders so we can access the rudder. The next level up is our walking space. And the next level up from that is the walls. So everywhere where this higher level is, is where a wall is going to be placed. I'm not going to use the lower one at the front, it's only going to be a 3x4 raft. Extend the two corners out the back using the thatch ceiling. Make sure it's at the highest snap point. And same for the foundations, make sure they're at the highest snap point. and stick a ramp up for access. So the last few official server boats that I've been using have been built off this foundation. So the raised perimeter shows where the walls are going to be placed. You can of course extend that out further to make say a 5x5 five five if you wanted to, which would give a 3x3 three three space in the centre. Now this high foundation is as high as you can go while still protecting the bottom of the raft. So I'll swim under and give it a piking. And the raft doesn't require repairs. Okay, so now that the foundation's down, let's lay the first level of wall, but eliminate the gap in doing so. So on the front edge of one of the foundations, place a pillar down. Make sure it's at the lowest snap point. Now a pillar in the middle of that foundation, again at the lowest snap point, and demolish the first pillar. One more pillar up, two thatch ceilings across from the centre, and a foundation underneath that thatch ceiling. So now we've stacked the foundation and eliminated the gap between them. Get rid of all the supporting structure. So 
So that level is going to act as the wall. Now I'll place the level that will act as a ceiling. So it's done exactly the same way. Pillow on the edge, then pillow in the centre, both at the lower snap point. Another pillow up from the centre, and then two thatched ceilings. And snap the foundation underneath. Now as you can see, you can walk freely underneath that foundation. Yet the whole thing sealed up with no gaps. Now again, get rid of the supporting structure. That's the last time we should have to do that. Now before you fill in the rest of the wall, what I like to do is lay a bed down. The first thing people do when they break into a boat is destroy the bed. But if we lay it down on one of the sides, we can foundation it in. Now if you respawn on that bed, you'll end up on top of the boat. There is a snap point that allow you to place these side foundations in. But sometimes it's hard to find. If you're having trouble, just extend it with that ceiling off the top and snap the foundation underneath it. Alternatively, just get as much distance as you can and it usually snaps into place. You can also embed some secret storage in the side walls, but to access them you will have to demolish the foundation. You can also look at the bottom foundation and use the snap point cycling button to find the higher one. Now for the ceiling foundations, we do need to use a thatch ceiling extension. Because it's not directly sitting on top of another foundation. Now two door frames on the back foundation. There's no point making stacked foundation walls and then only having one door access. As that'll be a weak point. Having two doors also prevents people accessing your boat by knocking you out once you've got one door open. Okay, so that's the basic chassis that I've been working off. It's quick and easy to put together and doesn't use up many pieces. Now what you may want to do is foundation in the mast, as that's a weak point. So, it's done exactly the same way as what we've done before when laying the first wall down. Extend the ceiling forward using the snap point cycling button. And do the same on the sides. Now we are still going to have to go up two layers. So exactly the same way we did before. A pillar on the front edge at the lower snap point. Then a pillar in the centre at the lower snap point. Another pillar up. Two thatch ceilings out. And a foundation underneath. Keep repeating and extending that process until you have a five high stack in the front. And that'll fully cover the mask from damage. So now the boat's been sealed up in the most efficient way possible with foundation. While maintaining headroom so you can walk under without crouching. Now you may be thinking, well there ain't much room in there. Well you can furnish it any way you want, but I'll show you the way I do it. And you may want to do this before you lay the walls down, although it's not important. If you demolish the walls around the front square, you can half embed your furniture within the sides. So with the smithy, make sure it's at the lower snap point, which means it's sitting on the inside square. If you make sure it's there, you will be able to access the inventory, even though it's half in the wall. Now the forge is a little trickier. It'll be red if you try and half embed it in the side. 
The solution to that is to demolish the side wall foundation. Make sure over half of it is sitting on the inside foundation when you place it down. And then replace the two side wall foundations. And make sure you can still access the inventory. Place a mortar and pestle down as far forward as possible. And now I'll explain this one later, but you want to place a chair. Right up against the side, facing outwards, on the lower snap point. And again, replace the side wall foundation. And we can place a second bed down, if we need to fast travel away from the boat. As we can't do that from the embedded bed in the side foundation. Okay, so what's the purpose of the chair? Well, it's to access the roof. By jumping on the chair, then jumping off, it'll push you up through the roof. That's the best solution since we can't put a hatch frame and ladder through solid foundation. And you can't seal up a catapult on a boat this small. Now for amusement value when you're going offline, you can seal the entire boat up with just three foundations. You can leave them wondering what's going on when they try to blow into your boat. So anyway guys, that's it. That's the standard 3x4 boat that I've been working out of. Now I'll just quickly show you what it looks like if you were to make it 5x5. Five five. You don't need the corner blocks as they don't serve any purpose. With those out of 12 foundations being the raised walls. It's still quite efficient to do this. There's still about 30 pieces left over for outfitting it. And this one uses the embedded catapult for roof access instead of the chair. There is a double ceiling through the catapult, so it's not a weak point. That's just done by allowing a foundation next to it and building a ceiling off that demolishing that foundation, then putting one at the correct height. Anyway, I have built these boats on the official servers. In fact, the first one I made was blown up. And it was blown up by these guys. So, I'm going to teach them a lesson on why you have to seal up the mast, particularly if you're going to make a metal boat. This is on the no tame server, so they had a dock made out of metal dino gates, surrounded by about 14 plants. So what I did was pinch the fertilizer from the first few, and then either use the layer of the land or the empty crop plots to drain the rest of the plants. Just get down low and hide behind them, and then attract the attention of a plant. In one of the previous videos, I used small storage boxes to do this, hiding behind them. But you can't plant storage boxes next to their buildings anymore. So using their empty crop plots against them is the next best alternative. Now because they haven't sealed in the mast, this is going to be easy to sink. Just find the front of the boat. And start air swinging at it. Now the only feedback that you're going to get is wear on the tool that you're using. So keep track of that and make sure your tool's wearing out, which means you're hitting the mast. And eventually... Goodbye SS Jane. Now I have to fight the Trudon that chased me in earlier. Anyway, I don't need their fertiliser, so I'll plant some long grass for them. That'll help them on the no tame server. Don't break me boats, guys. I'm just making them to test stuff out. Anyway, um, that's how you build a boat with stacked foundation walls while sealing up all the gaps in the most efficient way possible. But note that that only works with stone, this method. To do it in metal, you have to do a different method with different levels. 
If people want, I can show that in a video, which will be simpler and easier than this one was.